For ARDK 2.4, we've focused on improving developer tooling. Playback is now supported on Apple Silicon. Playback is an extremely powerful tool which you can use to record playthroughs at any location directly on device using one of our provided sample scenes. And you can see here the video that I've just recorded in the office. You can then bring that recording directly into Unity and use it. So here I'm opening our meshing example, just the default example. I've set Virtual Studio to be in playback mode and then I select that recording that I just made. And now if I just play the in-editor the example as is and say run our AR, we're in playback mode so that the recording that I made is being run directly in the editor and all of our algorithms are being run. So you can see the meshing is actually running directly in the editor the way it would as if you were moving the phone around that environment. This is extremely powerful because you can now test your entire gameplay in, in editor. And here I'll just switch to semantics and show you that that also works in the same way, just running the default semantic example. And you can see here turning on the channels and seeing the ground there, and then I'll switch to foliage because that's the other one that I can see quickly in this video. The next tool that we're providing is a public beta for remote content authoring. This tool simplifies the process of placing content at VPS activated locations. You can see here I've gone to the geospatial browser, which is inside the dev portal and I've selected a location that's near me. I'm in London, which is why the, <laughs> the map just jumped to the other side of the earth. And I found this statue, uh, Agatha Christie statue, which is just down the road from, from where I am. Uh, and then I simply select download that. I can bring it into Unity. And then in Unity, I can set up uh, a scene using the example that we have again. It's just the default example for remote content authoring. You open the, the assistant and you import the asset that you just downloaded from the website to say that you want to use that location. And once you do that, you can see in the editor that it loaded in the, the statue that I downloaded. And then you can place content relative to that object in the editor itself. So what I'll do next is I'll just place our Yeti mascot directly in front of the statue, uh, and then we'll go and see it in the real world. So. You very quickly you just add in your asset and then once you've got the the asset set up you can reference it in the manifest manager and once you've done that you, you're ready to go it'll you can test it in the editor and see it working and then wander wander to wherever it is that you, you placed your object and uh, run the same sample again you'll be able to see it Thank you for listening and I'm looking forward to see what everyone builds with these great new developer tools.